today's live IELTS class. My name is Adrian and I'm streaming to you live from beautiful Budapest here, the capital city of Hungary in Central Europe. Hi, Big Trevor Show TV. Hi, Amit Kahrana. We are starting now. Hi, Brar. Hi, Gong Kai Ren. Good to see you in this class also. Uh, students in this class, we are looking at the IELTS reading section. We will do a reading passage today together. This reading passage, you can see it in the general IELTS uh, reading section three, just the same as you could see it in the academic. I'll explain some skills, especially for true, false, not given, how to get some band nines. And again, uh, while we wait for some more of your peers, these lessons are coming from aehelp.com for academic IELTS materials, strategies, computer-based exams. Check us out there uh, for the general version of the test. Check us out at g-i-e-l-t-s-help.com. On both of these websites, we have loads of materials to help you improve quickly and get your needed band scores. This is the academic version here. You can click that big red button to join the premium package. When you do, you get a My Student account that you can click on. And then in the My Student account, you have all these wonderful tabs that open up further and you find these resources, the computer-based exams, online academic course, practice exams that you can print, lesson videos over 100 hours, all the sections, audio CDs with uh, CDs for pronunciation and reading, and then there's additional services for speaking, task one, task two, editing, so lots of help there for you. General IELTS, same thing, click that big red button to join. Your My Student account is up there. And again, you can download and link the apps, Academic IELTS Help and General IELTS Help as well. For questions, students, about the exam, about our products, just send me an email, adrian at aehelp.com. For all of our members who are new on our channel, always make sure to send an email so I can send you your perks. You can also get our exam books from Amazon. Uh, just look for A Helps Academic IELTS or G Helps General IELTS on Amazon, and you can download the books uh, from Amazon, an electronic version, or order the paperback version. Also, uh, students reading today, tomorrow, task to finish for members that we started uh, a couple hours ago, and then we'll have a task one diagram type question for tomorrow as well. Let's get into today's reading passage. Here we go. Looking at our reading passage topic. This is coming out of our second exam book. This is test number five. The title of this passage is Why Do Tortoises live so long. If you're not sure what a tortoise is, we've included a picture. Sometimes you get these pictures, okay? Now, when the title is a question like this, it's uh, immediately a hint that you should think about the answer and try to predict the contents of the passage. So, uh, before we read, students, um, of course, many of you learn these from other courses as well, but read the title and uh, think critically to predict information that you may read. So the example here is why do tortoises live so long uh what's the answer what do you think students so alex joseph Sai teja pachu jordan princess it's not a turtle it's a tortoise tortoises and turtles are different turtles usually live in water tortoises live on land jordan so why do tortoises live so long juan pablo thinks because they're very cute. It's a cute picture. Yeah. 
Uh, okay, Pachu says slow metabolism. They're slow. Very good. <laughs> Gunkai Ren says they're very inactive. They just don't do a lot. <laughs> All right. Um, for Dobbs, nice. So for Dobbs says metabolism is slow. Yeah. Uh, Hanny Grewal says they have a strong body. Okay. What do you mean a strong body? What's that big, uh, round object on their back? Dicey SPB says, cause they're slow. Yeah. What does a turtle have on its back that protects it from harm? It's called a shell, strong body, protective shell, maybe. Okay. Yeah, Latifa, it's a turtle shell or tortoise shell in this case. Right. Very good. All right. Uh, Sergey says maybe because they're vegetarian. Sure. So their diet. Possible. Okay. Bushkar says they have a strong skeleton. All right. Yeah, sure. Okay, nice. So you're predicting. You've come up with some good ideas. Next step, have a look at the questions. First set of questions. Uh, which paragraph contains the following information? Okay, so this is matching information to the paragraphs. So obviously we will have maybe five or six paragraphs and we have to match these answers to the correct paragraphs. Is it a good idea to skim read for this type of question? Should I skim read or scan the text for this information? Let me ask you that. Just wonder, because I know a lot of people learn skimming and scanning and it's not a very effective strategy. So here's a question from me. Is it a good idea to skim read for uh, matching information or paragraphs? to information questions. Uh, Fernov says yes. Uh, Andre says no. Generally speaking, no, it's not, okay? So generally speaking, no, because you may have to skim read the whole passage to match the first one. Okay, uh, I'll show you what I mean. So um, this number one here says factors that lower tortoise's life expectancy. What if that answer is the last paragraph? So it's the final paragraph. It's the conclusion, like paragraph G. You have to skim read the whole passage to figure out your answer for the first question. That would be even slower than the tortoise. Okay. So it may take you a whole three minutes just to answer the first question. Wow, even the tortoise would call you slow. So that's definitely not the right strategy. So we're not gonna do that. Okay. All right. Um, so we should read this question before we read the passage because all of this information is somewhere in the passage. Okay. So this is all in the passage, uh, somewhere, all of this information for sure. Uh, note by the way, note, note by the way, you can use any letter more than once. Let's read these together, okay? This is a reading class, so read with me, students. All right, read with me. Uh, factors that lower tortoise's life expectancy. 
Tortoises being used as a food source. Separation from predators contributes to their long lifespan. Some animals have different methods of ensuring the species lives on. Tortoises have difficulty adapting to new pressures. In your mind, uh, paraphrase these, okay? So, um, causes that decrease the uh, life lifespan of tortoises. Now at home, you're doing this on paper. In the exam, you're quickly doing this in your mind as best as you can, okay? As best as you can, really. Um, so factors that lower tortoises' life expectancy, causes that decrease the lifespan of tortoises. This is the same as this. In the passage, I might see some um, information that looks more like my version than the question, okay? Because they're always paraphrasing in the IELTS. They're always using different words. This is another reason that skimming and scanning are not effective because you're not finding the same words, okay? Yalin, you will have some paper uh, and you can have a pen in the computer-based exam, yes. Okay. All right. Uh, tortoises being used as a food source. What's another way to say this? So tortoises being used as a food source. How can you say that? Manuka, you're very, very welcome. We're just getting into it. Okay. So tortoises being used as a food source. What's another way to express that idea? <laughs> yeah, so Juan Pablo Villa says, people eating them. <laughs> so, I shouldn't laugh, it's terrible, but yes, okay? So people or animals eating them. It's probably more people because it's a food source. So yeah, simple paraphrasing is people eating them. Thank you, Juan Pablo. Okay, so that's what we're doing. We're going through these and uh, when we practice for the IELTS, we do it on paper. When we're sitting in the real exam, we're doing this in our head as we review these. Separation from predators contributes to their long lifespan. Isolation from carnivores adds to their long life. Some animals have different methods of ensuring the species lives on. Uh, certain creatures have various ways of guaranteeing that they survive. Tortoises have difficulty adapting to new environmental pressures. Uh, tortoises are challenged to get accustomed to their uh, difficulties in their surroundings. Something like that, okay? All right, uh, questions six to nine. These are short answers. The cause of the tortoise's long life are biological and while salmon lay thousands of eggs at once, tortoises rely on their to continue the species. Unlike the tortoise, animals such as the have very high metabolisms. The tortoise, something protects them from attacks, thus lengthening their life. I would probably guess shell on that one right away. And then uh, we have true, false, not given. True, false, not given questions you never read before the passage. They can just confuse you. A lot of false, not given information. So no point in doing that. Okay. All right, students. Let's do this. Let's read together. And as we read, I will show you some more important strategies and tips to get some high band scores. So this is reading. So let's read. Okay. Read with me. Whenever possible, read aloud. Okay. Allowed reading means that you can hear yourself. 
Hearing yourself read is great practice because you move your tongue, you hear yourself, you see the words. So it's called multiple sensory integration and the brain loves multiple sensory integration for learning. Okay. So nice, comfortable speed. You have about 10 minutes for a reading passage. And then you have 10 minutes to answer the questions. Okay. Yes, Taylor Reese, this is just as hard as you, you would have in a real exam for passage one. Okay. For your first passage. All right, here we go, everyone. Read with me. Tortoises are some of the longest lived creatures in nature. They can live so long that scientists have yet to fully document the lifespan of these hard shelled reptiles. Reports, however, indicate that certain species of tortoise can live up to 200 years, far longer than the average human lifespan. The reason tortoises live so long are evolutionary and biological, though the population of these ancient creatures is declining due to low reproduction rates and increased predation. All right, it's the introduction. I just visualized and it told me that tortoises are living for 200 years. I'm a 200 year old tortoise. Why am I living so long? Evolutionary and biological, but I'm sad. Why am I sad? Because a lot of my buddies are dying. Why are they dying? Because we're being attacked and because we're not having a lot of babies. All right, so I'm keeping that in mind. Okay, I'm visualizing, I'm visually seeing what I'm reading, okay? No preeti, no extra time for transferring answers. In reading, you put your answers directly into the answer sheet. Okay, let's keep reading, everyone. Visualize, see what you read. Nature is incredibly diverse, but the most common factor among creatures is the need to reproduce. Some creatures, such as humans, have a small number of young which are cared for diligently. Others, such as salmon, have no interaction with their offspring whatsoever. Instead, salmon rely on the sheer number of eggs they lay. They lay so many eggs that some are bound to survive to adulthood. While some animals rely on care or vast numbers of eggs, the tortoise relies on the longevity of their lifespan. Female tortoises, female tortoises can produce offspring for well over a century. This is one reason tortoises live so long, so they can reproduce many times and thus continue the species. Okay, so again, I see the humans, I see the fish, the salmon, different uh, strategies for having babies, uh, but I'm the tortoise. And my strategy is I can be a mom for a hundred years. I'm a 150 year old mommy. I've had children a hundred times throughout the years. Okay. Keep it in mind. Reproduction. However, again, students, I'm not reading for you. We're reading together. So let's do this. Okay. Let's start. Reproduction, however, is not a cause of tortoises longevity. The most fundamental cause of their longevity is their incredibly slow metabolism. Hey, a couple of you said that. A creature's metabolism is the rate at which they process food and energy. Some animals, such as the hummingbird, have very fast metabolisms in order to power their high energy existences. Conversely, Tortoises have very slow metabolisms because they have very few energy expenditures. In general, creatures with low metabolisms live longer than those with faster metabolisms. Due to its slow metabolism, the tortoise can live for up to a year without food or water. Wow! When explorers were traveling to the Galapagos Islands in the 18th and 19th centuries, it was common for sailors to take tortoises on board the ship as they left the islands. Since the tortoises survived so long without food or water, 
they were able to provide the sailors with a very long-lasting supply of fresh meat aboard the ship. So paragraph C, the third paragraph, okay? I'm on my uh, Galapagos Island. I'm moving super slowly. Hey, uh, when did I have a glass of water? Oh, yeah, last year, and I haven't eaten since. Maybe I should eat something. Oh, no, there's a sailor just took my friend. They're, he's going to be eaten. Um, all right. Metabolism alone, however, does not explain the great age to which the tortoise can live. Critical to the tortoise's longevity is their hard shell, hey, we talked about that, which protects them from predators. Every long-lived creature in nature has a mechanism for protection. Some animals have speed to the effect of a quick escape from predation. Some use intelligence to outwit predators. Some use poison against predators. And some have physical protection like the tortoise. In addition to this hard outer shell, the tortoise is also a large animal. And in general, larger animals tend to live longer than smaller animals. Okay, cool. So fourth paragraph, what am I seeing? I'm seeing these other animals that have different kinds of protection. I'm slow and big and I have a big shell, so I'm okay. Nothing can really eat me. There's a cheetah running around. There's a poisonous snake biting. Okay. Paragraph five. E. A final cause of tortoises' longevity is their island habitat. Animals which live on islands tend to live longer because they are kept separate from many of the most dangerous predators. Instead of developing energy inefficient methods of keeping safe from predators and thus requiring an increased metabolism, tortoises are free to allocate their energy to extending their lifespan and maintaining a very low metabolism. So what do I love? I love my little island. Why? Because I don't have a lot of enemies on my little island. I get to just slowly move around all day, take a rest when I need to, and not worry about being attacked. That's paragraph five. Now on to paragraph six. Though tortoises have developed an extraordinary ability to live a long life, today this ability is threatened by a number of factors. First and perhaps most significant is predation by humans. In the past, tortoises and humans did not commonly coexist, but today tortoises are killed by poachers who value the tortoise's shell. Second, the contamination of tortoise habitats has put tortoise young at risk. For the first five years of a tortoise's life, they are prone to predators such as rats. Originally, such predators did not share the tortoise's island habitat, but through the introduction of rats and other species to the habitat, it has put the tortoise at risk. Finally, the tortoise's slow metabolism means that they are very slow and virtually incapable of adapting to these new pressures. If tortoise populations are not looked after, they will almost certainly become extinct. So what do I see there? Oh, my beautiful island. Where are all these weird people and animals coming from? Worse, why are they eating us and attacking us? So bad. Um, all right. So here we go. Uh, number one. Factors that lower tortoises life expectancy. Uh, what's the answer? Which paragraph? A, B, C, D, E, or F. You don't have to search for all of them. If you kept a visual log of these six paragraphs, then it should be no problem. Let's see how many of you get it. 
Alex says C, Latifa says F, Ferdov says F, Dicey says F. Yeah, we just read it. In fact, it is the conclusion. So trying to skim read for this answer would have taken you a long time. You would have had to skim read the whole paragraph or the whole passage, sorry, to get it. Just terrible. Okay. F, humans, rats, contaminants, garbage, pollution, right? Notice how most of you are getting this answer. F. Tortoises being used as a food source. So tortoises being eaten. Who's eating them? Sailors. Which paragraph talks about sailors eating them? Well, even if I don't remember exactly which paragraph, I remember it was maybe paragraph three or four, and I remember that it was sailors. So because I visualized that, I can go back and look at that, right? So here we go. 18th, 19th centuries, sailors were eating them. It's paragraph C, right? It's not the same as skim reading. This is just locating or identifying. It's not the same as skim reading. Okay. Here I'm just identifying which one it's much faster than skim reading. Okay. If you know where you're looking, you're going to be much, much faster. Does that make sense? What I just said there. So locating and skim reading is not the same idea. Okay. Here I'm just locating the answer because I have a very good idea of roughly where it is. Okay, so I said it's probably three or four. Okay. All right. Um, separation from predators contributes to their long lifespan. Where is that one coming from? Number three. Hikmatillo, many students are skim reading and scanning because they are taught bad information by teachers who would never use those skills if they actually sat the exam. Just remember this, students, all uh, IELTS teachers would actually read the passage before answering the questions. No IELTS teacher would ever use skim and, skimming and scanning as their main strategy without reading. Keep that in mind, okay? All right, um, so number three, many of you are saying E. Yeah, I seem to remember E. It was island isolation, so living on an island. If I want to double check again, a final cause of tortoise longevity is their island habitat. Perfect. Okay, so I'm confident that it's E. Okay, number four. Some animals have different methods of ensuring the species lives on. All right, that was about some animals are poisonous, some animals run really fast. Uh, which paragraph did I visualize that where I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, D. Pretty sure that was D. Okay. Number five, tortoises have difficulty adapting to new environmental pressures. Um, which paragraph talks about the fact that I'm a tortoise and I'm having some problems because I'm so slow and, I, and these people and these animals that were never here before? That was the conclusion. Okay, F. Notice how F is used twice, okay? That will often happen with these kinds of questions. It tells you here. Note, by the way, you may use any letter more than once. So... Uh, paragraph A and B were not in there, but paragraph F was there twice. So F, C, E, D, F. Okay, those were the correct answers. F, C, E, D, and F. All right, students, we're doing pretty good. Let's keep moving forward. So clear main strategy for this type of question, visualize, keep a mental record of the information, all right? And locate information, but don't skim and scan for it, okay? 
All right, and here we go. Remember, students, memory can be trained, and you should train memory for the IELTS exam. Um, so here, simply we have to fill in the blanks. It's choose no more than two words from the passage. Here we go. Uh, these ones usually follow the order of the passage. So that means that number six will be earlier in the passage. Skimming and scanning might be somewhat effective for this one here. Okay. Uh, the causes of the tortoise's long life are biological. That's a word I could look for if I have to. And, but I know the answer for this one. Very nice, Samira. Evolutionary. Okay. Make sure that your spelling is correct. Evolutionary. Nicely done. Yeah, very good. I can see a lot of, a lot of students remembered that. Okay, number seven. While salmon lay thousands of eggs at once, tortoises rely on their something to continue the species. Anybody remember what that word was? Number seven. Latifa, very good. Longevity. Okay, longevity means long life. All right. Um, which paragraph was this? If I had to search or locate. Okay. Uh, which paragraph was that? Long lifespan, Gunkai Ren. So Gunkai um, Ren says long lifespan. They would take that answer, okay? Long lifespan. That's also an okay answer, all right? So longevity and long lifespan. And yes, Nabin Rejmi, Generius Ray, very good. It's paragraph B. Afraj, very good. Yeah, that was paragraph B. So if I had to search... I could find it there, right? So let me just go back. So again, this is locating. This is not skimming and scanning. So uh, while some animals rely on care or vast number of eggs, the tortoise relies on the longevity of their life. Very nice. Paragraph B. Good for you, students. Good job. All right. Let's keep going. Unlike the tortoise, animals such as the something have very high metabolisms. Now, if you know the name of this animal when you read it, I'm sure you will remember. Okay. Um, if not, you might have to search. For Dobbs says hummingbird. Hummingbird, absolutely. So, again, that's going to be in the beginning. Here it is. Hummingbird, one word. Hummingbird, okay, one word. So, hummingbird is right. Hummingbird is that very, very, very small bird. Okay. It's that very, very small bird uh, that flaps its wings super, super fast and can stay in one spot in the air. Bzz, bzz. Uh, why is it called a hummingbird? Okay. Uh, just some fun facts here before we go to the next question. The word humming. So it's a verb. Hum. Hum means mmm. Okay. So it's not your computer breaking, it's me. Um, if you hear this sound like a So I'm humming, okay, in English, you're humming when you go like that. So if you go Okay, that's a hum, it's a humming. And it's called a hummingbird because when it's flapping its little wings super, super fast, it hums, okay? So hum, hum, humming. All right. Um, all right. Uh, the tortoises, something protects them from attacks, thus lengthening their life. 
you should get this, okay? This is a low band level question. The tortoise's hard shell. If you put shell, it'll be okay. I think it's better to put hard shell, okay? Outer shell, Rahul, yeah, they'll take that as well. Okay, not sell, Ahmed al Qadasi. it's shell. Okay, careful, S-E-L-L -L and S-H-E-L-L -L are very different. So spelling is important. Hard shell, two words, okay? Hard shell, careful with your spelling, okay? Uh, for doves, uh, animals such as the hummingbird, not hummingbirds, the hummingbird, okay? For Dobbs. All right. Doing fantastic, students. One set of questions left to go. The uh, I think it's true, false, not given, right? Maybe yes, no, not given. All that is left in this reading. Yeah, true, false, not given. Okay. If this, then that strategy. All right. Just like computer logic. If this, then that strategy. Most islands do not have predators. Okay. So, first question. Is this important for why do tortoises live so long and you the only way you know this is if you read the passage of course so after you read the passage when you ask yourself the question is it important to know for this passage why do tortoises live so long that most islands do or do not have predators so most islands do not have predators okay is it important for this passage? No, it isn't, right? No, it isn't. So if it's not, then right away we know the answer is not given. Okay? Um, why would the author even say that, right? There are a lot of islands around the world. Think about the Philippines. Think about around Thailand, Japan. Um, it would be strange. So think, okay, the IELTS doesn't lie. The passages don't lie. The author wouldn't state something so strange, right? So no, not given. The islands that tortoises live on don't really have predators, but it doesn't say most islands. It's this that's strange in the question, okay? All right, number 11. The most significant problems facing tortoises are caused by humans. Is this important? So is this an important piece of information for this passage? The most significant problems facing tortoises are caused by humans. Number 11. Is it important? Yes. So, therefore, it's given. Right? Now, is it true? Or is it false? So my first question that I ask, the goal is to identify whether it's given or not given. Once I've identified that it's most likely given, I can ask myself, is it true or false according to what I read? And then I realize that it is true. Okay, this is the logic. So for true, false, not given, you need to use logic, right? Are humans the cause for most tortoises dying? Yeah, absolutely. They were doing okay before we got there, right? So the biggest problems facing tortoises is the human problem, right? It's usually true in the world for the animals. Number 12, the introduction of rats to tortoise habitats has affected the tortoise lifespan. Is this important? So is it important to know whether or not rats are having an impact on the tortoise's lifespan? Yes. Therefore, it's given. Is it true? 
Now, if you are a visual person, or is it false, you should get this. Yeah, it's true. Why? You should have visualized this. It was quite horrible to see. In my mind, any, it was quite horrible to see. Um, so why is it true? Why is number 12 true? So number 12 is true. Why is it true? What, what are rats doing? Anybody remember? It was very visual. It was a very powerful kind of piece of information. You should definitely not forget this kind of information. So Ferdov says the rats eat the eggs, <clears throat> not just the eggs. The rats even eat the baby, baby tortoises. Yeah, that's right. Yalin Dogu Shain says they're eating the tortoises before the age of five. Yeah, they're eating the baby tortoises. It was horrible to visualize that, right? Okay, good. Uh, number 13, tortoises must be returned to their original habitats to survive. Is this important? So is it important to know whether or not tortoises have to return to their original place to survive? The answer is maybe. So if your answer is maybe, my next question would be, did you see this? So did you see did you see any information in your head about the tortoise? In this case, it was me with the tortoise. I keep imagining this giant shell on my back. Okay, so that's my giant shell. Um, so did I see myself being like, I have to go home, like E.T. go home, tortoise go home for me to survive. Did I go tortoise go home to survive? Uh, no, I didn't see that. Uh, classic ET image of trying to get home to survive. Uh, no. So therefore I'm going to be like, okay, it's not given. If I'm not sure about that, should I uh, spend three, four minutes trying to figure this last question out? So should I go back, skim, read the whole passage, see if it's there? Maybe, maybe not. No, absolutely not. You have two more passages. Take a guess, move on. If you got 12 out of 13, you're golden, okay? Don't waste three, four minutes on a question, especially at the beginning of the reading passage. You can always come back to it if you have time at the very, very end, but don't do it. Otherwise, don't do it, students. It's not good. Careful with your time management, okay? The last couple questions are often looking for band eight, band nine level students who are looking to do their doctorates in medicine or law, something like that at university. So be really careful. Don't waste time on difficult questions. Sometimes it's best to just answer and move on, okay, for these questions. Okay, so uh, students, that is the class for today, the reading. Again, for lots more reading practice and strategies, join our premium package at aehelp.com for academic IELTS and g-i-e-l-t-s help.com for general. I hope you picked up some good skills and tips for those matching information to paragraphs, filling in the blanks, and these true, false, not given, okay? You have to be like the tortoise. You have to be slow, steady, and the IELTS exam is a, an exam of longevity. It's a three-hour exam, so you have to just stay the course. You have to be the tortoise, okay? Just do, 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 nice and good pacing. Finish, keep your logic, keep your head about you. That's the way to do it. Again, students, just a quick look at our websites. This is the general. Click that big red button to join the premium package. This is our academic in the My Student account with the computer-based exams and so on. You can use it on your phone, tablet, computer. It's responsive, and you can link your app to it as well. Tomorrow, students, we will have task one diagram for the academic version of the test. You are all very, very welcome. Thank you so much for all the great interaction. 
Much love to all of you from the heart of Europe, Budapest. Bye for now.